Hey everyone, we are teaching Sculptor VR, and today we're going to look at this cool tool called the Stabilized Sphere Tool. This is the second of the sphere tools, and you'll notice it's a little bit different from the normal sphere tool. Now the biggest difference you'll notice is it's got this little gray stick attached to the sphere. This is just a normal creating and carving tool, just like the normal sphere. But what makes this guy different is that little gray stick. And we're going to look at what makes that little gray stick different. So with a normal sphere tool, as you move your hand, you're creating stuff. And if your hand isn't perfectly steady, you see how I make sort of a slightly wobbly line. Well, the Stabilize Sphere tool lets you make smooth lines without having to worry about having a perfectly stable hand. So when I've got the Stabilize Sphere tool going, that little stick, you'll notice as I move my, mount, my controller around, it doesn't move the main sphere. It just moves the little gray stick. And when that little gray stick moves far enough, then it pulls the sphere along behind it. That means we have this much wiggle room without actually wiggling our sphere. So when I hold the trigger down, as long as I'm just wiggling a little bit, it doesn't move what I'm drawing. But the moment I pull it far enough, you can see it pulls the sphere in that direction. The final upshot of this is if I'm drawing a long line and my hand is not perfectly steady, go away. Watch, I can draw and wiggle and the line isn't nearly as wobbly as the normal sphere. It's a little more stabilized even if my hand isn't quite as stable. It's not nearly as wobbly. So the Stabilized Sphere Tool. We can also use our thumb control to make it smaller or make it bigger. So depending on the type of line you're trying to create, depending on the type of scale you're trying to create, there we go, you can use these controls, Stabilized Sphere Tool, to have a little more control a little smoother action, a little smoother lines than normal. Now we can also trigger the carve version so we can pull away from the sculpture and carve out of the sculpture as well using that little bit of a margin of error. So whatever color, whatever tool you're sculpting with, the stabilized sphere tool tends to give you a smoother, easier line to work with. It's just another way to create or carve using these tools we have in Sculptor VR. I hope this inspires you to try out some new things. Give us links to what you create in the comments below. We have a lot of fun. We do this every week live on Twitch at Shameless Mayhem, and it's all archived on youtube.com slash Shameless Mayhem as well. So I'm going to do my usual subscribe message, but using the stabilized sphere here. Subscribe. And we hope to see you every week to give you new lessons on how to create sculptures using these different tools in Sculptor VR. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Have fun, and we'll see you next time.